Hey there, Jed Coverness here from JedCoverness.com, and welcome to Talk Therapy. It's just a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind and to get to know myself better. And hopefully, I inspire somebody to do the same. Give it a shot. Just hit record, start talking. You don't have to share it to the world like I do, but you never know. Somebody else could be inspired from it too. So, <clears throat> I don't ever really think about what I'm going to talk about. I just hit record. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. One thing, uh, real quick, or real, that just kind of pops out is the vest to chest challenge or 30 days of wearing a 60 pound weight vest is still on. <clears throat> I've just, I'm working on the vest or I'm tailoring the vest because that sucker is heavy. Like it weighs all of, all 60 pounds. And for the general purposes of wearing it during a workout, it works very well, right? But have you ever worn a vest? You know, one that is like right around here for more than <clears throat> an hour at a time? Uh, it, it actually is very difficult to breathe, which is, you know, pretty typical of somebody who has, who is any amount of weight over overweight right it's difficult to breathe and it was it's actually I feel like it was cutting off my circulation to my arms so that's not ever good and the first and you know the first thing I think of is safety with this thing so I'm not going to jeopardize my own health I mean I kind of am through my joints and stuff, but they can handle it. My, my joints can handle the pressure that I'll put on it, but so I'm, I'm putting pads like right where the most amount of pressure is <clears throat> and it's just taking me some time to kind of fabricate that, to, to scrounge around the house, find whatever I have. Like right now I have padding from an old knee brace and and Velcro and all this fun stuff on there. I need one more or two more straps of Velcro <clears throat> and then I got it. But it should, it take, it's just taking a little time, right? Like, like everything it just takes time. So it's still on the, the vest to chest experiment is still on just taking a little more time than what I thought it would take, but I want to be safe about it, you know, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to permanently damage anything on my own body, and I would hope that people understand that, because I'm trying to help you not permanently damage anything on your body. So hopefully that I get that same respect in return, but still in the works. It is still out there. It's still happening. I wear it during the wad videos. Like I make the workouts of the day. I make the wads every day. And that gives me some good, some very good perspective on what it feels like. And just added resistance, right? Like, it can't hurt to be a little loaded. Not loaded as in drunk, but loaded as in extra weight on my body. Did the one this morning, and it was actually pretty awesome. It was pretty cool, because just because it it challenged my hips, like, I did hydrants this morning, <clears throat> doing those hydrants with extra weight on my torso, boy, that really fired him up. That was pretty cool. So that's work out of the day number 247. And yeah, you know, that was actually really awesome. But that's what it takes. Is it takes experimenting. It takes play. It takes time. Like I spent the entire evening last night 
messing with that vest. Putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off. Adjustment here, adjustment there. What if I did this? What if I did that? Right? I mean, I'm talking like the kids went to bed about 7.30 until 10.30. So three full hours <laughs> of like adjusting and you know, I just playing around. <laughs> and it was really funny because my wife's like, you spent all evening doing that. And I'm like, yep, sure did. Yeah, but you spent all evening doing that. And I'm like, yeah, honey, I know. It's okay. Like, this is, this is what I want to do. While we were watching the Vikings game, right? Or, or she was in the sunroom and I was in the dining room or whatever, right? That's all right. That's what I wanted to do. I needed to get that done. Well, mostly done. I got one more strap to apply, but... It's so funny because from that I got to thinking... What we choose to do in our in our spare time, or whatever you want to call it, spare time. I don't think I have any spare time. I just choose whatever time I do in a way that makes me the happiest. So, spare time or downtime or hobby time, whatever you want to call it. Is it the same? So I did that for like three hours. And if somebody sat and watched Game of Thrones for three hours, the question is, what's more of a waste of time? If you're happy, about what you just did, then I don't think that's a waste of time at all. If you're pissed off because you need to get that done or other things done or whatever else, <clears throat> then sure, that was probably a waste of time. But whose fault is that? Sure as hell wasn't the makers of Game of Thrones that made you watch that stuff. I could have chosen could have chose I don't know I could have done something different last night but I didn't I chose to work on that vest that I need or I want I don't really need I want to get it to a place where I can just put it on <clears throat> easy and not have it bunch up anywhere, you know, like all those pads, so they don't bunch up. I, I'm close, like I'm really close, where I can just throw it on and go. Because that's what's going to take. And I know in my own mind, if it's just a little bit off, I'm not going to wear it. I mean, nobody will, right? Why would you put something on yourself that's going to be uncomfortable? You're not. I mean, it's not going to be exactly 100% comfortable because it's 60 extra pounds, right? Like, let's be real here. But if I put it on and I got just the slightest discomfort way back here because of a pad that's bunching up, well, then I've created that problem. What really sucks is now I have to solve this problem, problem that I created. Boom, right? the complete antagonist of what I'm trying to do. You, and that's kind of what happens is you solve one problem but you've created another. And that's really what it is, is you've created that problem. Think about that one for a minute. Oh yeah, I got this done and I solved this and then I created another problem. Like it comes back to, for me, these the, the wad videos 
videos and uh, my blog posts, I got too fancy with the blog post that I stopped posting the blogs, like on my blog. Now why? I'm asking myself this. Why did I stop posting? Because I set up a process that wasn't sustainable and then I stopped. And I think that's what we do, right? Like we're supposed to evolve and like get better at things, which I was, but I got, I evolved too fast. I think that's what it was. I, I started posting all of these really long form posts and I'm like, well, I need to keep this pace up. There's no way I can do that. Not now, not yet. I think I was, like it just got wrapped up in the, hype of do this and this and this and this and this and this and this when you do a blog post. There's still some things I can take away, but I don't think I need to go as crazy nuts as I did during that time. Because I tell you what, posting a wad is it. Like, that's all I gotta do. Anything more than that <clears throat> is a bonus. And the cool part about all that is, is I get to go back and I can redo any of those blog posts that I put out there. Why? Because it's my stuff. <laughs> That's the best part about branding yourself. You're the brand, you can change it all. If you're with a company, then can't really rebrand the company you have to rebrand yourself and rebranding is a pain in the ass but if it's yourself then it doesn't matter you can do whatever you want yeah this is a good one today this is a good one today let's get it let's get out there and get whatever we want takes what? Time and work. Consistency, determination, and community. Those are three other things that it takes. That's what the Cobra Nation provides. That's what we do. <clears throat> With each wad provides consistency, determination, Consistency of at least one round every day. Determination to get it done, and also that you get to determine what's right for you, and the community will back you up on it. We will. It's a big deal. <clears throat> it is a very big deal. there you have it. Good stuff happening today. Kind of looks like I have a little uh, mustache if I sit in the, if I just let that reflection go off just right. Looks like I have a mustache. Because <laughs> that sun just hits perfect on this little rear view mirror camera thing that I have. But anyway, that is way side sidetrack sidebar that's the ADHD talking so as always if you're willing to change from the neck up you will change from the neck down I believe in you now it's your turn to start believing in yourself stay safe out there be blessed bye friends